What is up guys, Nick here. Uh, today I'm back with another quick how-to video, or maybe not so quick, we'll see how long this takes us. I'm going to show you how to make that metal melter that Grant Thompson made so many years ago. He claimed it was $20 to make, but uh, my bill ran up to $80, and actually it was like $90. And after a few uses, the plaster of Paris and sand stuff just kind of disintegrated. I don't know if it's because of the high heat or the mix or or what, but today I'm going to show you the cheap as dirt version. Um, you're still going to need a bucket, a metal bucket, you're still going to need play sand, you're still going to need a metal pipe, and you're still going to need a hair dryer. But the bucket can be had for less than $20, the sand is like $5, I picked up a hair dryer for $10, and the pipe was like $14. So that's still cheaper than $89, which is what I paid. And um, I'm assuming you have some plastic buckets and stuff. So the cheaper than dirt method, we're going to use actual dirt instead of the plaster of Paris. We're just going to mix some dirt and sand and we're going to see how it works out. And Luna is going to help me if she doesn't chew me to pieces first. Okay, so you'll probably see that uh, I've got some, some organic matter in there, even some green plants. And Luna, get out of the way. She's not helping as much as she did with the last project so far. And there's definitely some little roots and sticks and stuff in there, and probably a few bugs. But uh, that's not going to matter. It's all going to burn off, and uh, there's no real exact amount that you're going to need. You're just going to need enough dirt. If you don't have enough, well, there's dirt everywhere. And um, I live in Kentucky, so there's lots of clay, and the clay can be used Oh, maybe Luna is helping. There we go. Yeah. Stop digging. Stop. Stop digging. Um, but uh, the clay might help add with some of the, the heat resistance and stuff. I don't know. It might make it worse. But uh, our next step is going to be to add some sand. So we'll walk back over and add some sand. Okay. So I added the sand. And now I'm just kind of stirring it in. And uh, how much sand do you need? Well, I don't really know. I'm kind of doing this just right off the bat. If this ends up working, I'll try and figure out exactly how much I used and all that, but uh, my thinking is it's it's going to work for one or two uses, and that'll be it. But you know what? If it even works once, it's going to be a better value than using that plaster of Paris, because that cost me $20, and it fell apart anyway. And then it was really hard to dispose of, because it doesn't just dissolve in water. It takes a while to wear down, and I didn't want to just throw it away, so it's just slowly decomposing in my parents' backyard, <laughs> actually, it's where I did it the first time, because uh, my dad wanted to see it, and uh, anyway, we will, uh, our next step is going to be to add some water, and um, there's the water, the source of the water there. So I'll just add a little bit of water, mix it up, add a little bit more, mix it up till I get a good consistency. I don't want it to be liquid to where I'm going to, I'm not going to put it in the bucket and do all that because I already drilled out the hole with my hole saw. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take it and pack it in on the sides until I feel like the walls are thick enough. And, and that'll be it. That'll, it'll, be, it'll be basically ready to go. So uh, I'll go, I'll add the water and get the mix going and then I'll return to show you guys me packing it onto the sides of the bucket. Okay, so I poured the water in. You can see it's bubbling as it permeates through the soil and clay and sand. And I'm just stirring it up and already I feel like I've probably added too much water. So that's great. I have to dump some out. I don't know, we'll see. No, 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 it's starting to absorb. That's good. Alright, I'm going to continue mixing this up, and I'll come back to show you guys me packing it into the bucket. Okay, here it is. I've finished mixing it. Uh, this is about the consistency you want it. It's real thick. It's really thick mud. It's kind of like what you would use to uh, make clay pottery, although it's not the exact si same type of clay. It hasn't been purified in any way. But uh, you want it just wet enough to where it'll stick to the sides but not so wet that it's mostly water. Um, the reason for that, I'm thinking, is because if it's mostly water and the water evaporates, you're gonna be left with gaps, and your 
smelter isn't going to last as long or work as well. So uh, here it is. This is my get the shovel out of there. Get all the extra mud off of it. You can see there's still roots and things in there. This is not. I'm not being careful here. I don't care if it doesn't last a long time. So here I'm just putting some in the bottom. It's going in nice and easy. Put a little bit there. And I'm thinking you'll want to do all of this, the whole thing, all at once, because once it starts to dry, it's not going to stick to itself as well. And all kinds of things, so. Just want to kind of pack it all in. And then once it's in, pack it down pretty tight because any air pockets that are left are going to expand when you go to heat it. And expanding air in confined spaces usually leads to an explosion, or in this case, probably just a failure of the smelter. It'll, it'll just crack and fall apart. But um, I'm going to pause the video so I can use my other hand here and get this done, and then I'll show you guys the finished product. And then in my next video, I'll show you guys the testing. All right, here is the finished product. It is exactly what it looks like, just a pile of mud. I'm gonna let it dry out here in the sun. We'll see what it looks like. Oh good, Luna has something made of paper. I'm gonna go take that from her. Um, yeah, so you can see the little hole down there where the, uh, the pipe will fit in to blow the cool air in with the hair dryer. And uh, this is the old lid here. This is what I used when uh, I had it as a uh, made with the plaster of Paris. And you can see it's not gonna fit there, so I'm gonna have to make some new kind of lid. And uh, also my initial, my original crucible dissolved. Um, liquid aluminum will dissolve stainless steel. It doesn't melt it, it dissolves it, which is, really weird. Well, not that weird, it's just chemistry, but it was really interesting. And, uh, yeah, that's it. So hopefully the next time you guys see this, it'll be full of charcoal and fire and molten aluminum. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe, and check out my blog. The links are in the description.